Good afternoon, good evening, or good night to all my crypto lovers and all my crypto somniacs and all my uh, my crypto lovers. All right now, today I'm gonna get uh, this is more for a new a video for noobs, uh, people new to the to using cryptocurrency or new to Binance who haven't really figured it out yet. Um, and so all this per video serves to do is help some people. So my buddy Joseph was messaging me and just kept telling me like, I can't figure out how to buy, I can't figure out how to sell, it's really confusing. Um, so what this video will do is uh, serve as the purpose to teach you how to just basically trade on Binance. So how to, um, like I've made another video how to get their money into Binance from withdrawal and depositing. So now this is the how to use Binance video, okay? So obviously, um, if you haven't had Binance yet, click on the ref link at the bottom. Um, all that will do is uh, get you into Binance. So instead of me trying to get you to the wrong website, this guarantees you're gonna be on the right website. All right, um, so click on that and it'll load you up to the same page that I'm about to share with you guys. And I'm just gonna walk you through how to do everything on Binance that's pretty basic, okay? So let's share the video here and I'm gonna go right into Binance. All right, so. Here is my Binance, okay? So um, when you get in, usually you start on uh, your profile page, which usually is this one. So you log in and you'll end up on this page. Um, you should always use this. So if you save 50% of fees every single time using BNB, you're gonna save a lot of money over time. I would say leave this on. Even when BNB gets up to 100 bucks, if it ever gets there, um, I would still leave it on. It's just a smart play. Um, if you ever use uh, whole things like NEO, you'll get gas distributions as well. If you hold Bitcoin, you'll have some, um, you know, when there's forks and Binance supports them, a lot of them actually, it's a good one. Also make sure that in Binance, you have at least one of these two enabled or both, uh, SMS verification and Google authentication. I've done videos on that one as well, so you should look at how to do that. But basically have one of those as a second way, a second tier of authentication, and a better one would be Google Authenticator versus SMS, in my opinion, okay? So then you wanna get to trading, right? So when you, when you wanna see how much money you have in things, you click on balances or deposits, and that will show you um, withdrawals as well. If you wanna see what you've withdrawn from Binance to another wallet, maybe it's Jax, maybe it's Exodus, maybe it's another exchange, maybe it's a Trezor or Nano, okay? There's lots of places you can put it. Transaction history will just show you the history of your, you know, the trades that you have done, okay? So we're not gonna go on any of those. I'm just gonna straight show you how to start getting, start, how to get started. So let's say we have some money in Bitcoin that we have transferred in um, into Binance. So we wanna learn how to trade. So click on the exchange basic. Don't train, don't click on the trading view version of this because it gets really confusing. So don't click on advanced, okay? Because unless you know what you're doing, you probably have no idea what the heck that is. All right, so now we can see, um, you know, the market's down on the weekends. This is something I haven't always mentioned in videos. Weekends, generally the market always goes down. Um, and that's just something that we've noticed is a trend always. Uh, so if you notice that, if you're like, oh, Joel was wrong, blah, blah, he said it was gonna go up. I, I'm saying it's gonna go up over the course of the next month, okay? So don't expect it to be like $20 billion every single day. Expect it to kind of go up 15, $20 billion when it starts its full recovery. And you'll know that when we hit 500, 600 billion that we're on that we're on track for that. Right now we're kind of in consolidation like I was telling you, but I do predict that over the course of next week, we'll start seeing like 15, 20 billion up, up, up slowly and slowly filtering back in the market. So we're at 433, now we're at 391 uh, million uh, billion dollars in the market and that's okay, that's, that's normal. Um, you know, we're not seeing a hundred billion dollar drop off again, so we're okay. If we do see that, that would mean, you know, things are about to go through another correction, but I just don't see that happening right now. The harmonics aren't really there. So how do I trade? So here's the thing. You have um, Bitcoin you can trade from. If you have Ether, you can trade with it. If you bought BNB coin, you can trade with it, or you can trade directly from USDT and into any of these. Uh, basically, this is the way to short Bitcoin or any of them, okay? So when you think it's gonna go down, you trade into USDT. It goes down, then you rebuy with USDT because it'll be dollars. You rebuy back into any of these tokens or into any tokens, really. Um, this is a way to short the market. Okay, so if you're ever looking to short the market, you go to USDT, you sell all your stuff. You get a bunch of USDT, which is basically US dollars. Uh, it's like one for one. And then you would then go and um, after you do that, you can go buy. So 
as you can kind of see the the bitcoin price drop to eight like i said i don't see it hitting six again so i just want to like keep that in mind so now back on track how do i trade on binance so let's say we're usually going to do it from here so let's say um someone tell you feel like you really want to buy i don't know let's say walton coins or wtc so you're going to click you're going to just basically look for anything that you want um it could be neo it could be salt and as you see they just pop up so if eth is a pair you can do it with ethereum too with bnb you cannot so some of them you can't generally big bitcoin is the one for all of them the main one okay and remember what you always see in in binance is satoshis they don't show you dollars but they now started doing that so before they didn't show you you see this little thing on the just to the left of my cursor here uh it says 39 cents so that would tell you how much it equivalent of um of satoshis to dollars okay and it's good that they did that because it was really hard to remember both especially when bitcoin started getting more volatile it's hard to tell which one's which okay so now on track so let's say i pick um you can either pick from the list or you can just search let's search for neo um okay so i want to buy some neo All right as you can see my bitcoin in this account is not very high um and that's fine there's no problem with that Another thing you can see is the fee is really, really low because Binance uh, admitted that they kind of screwed up um, and so they gave us 70% uh, off their fees. And if you use BNB, you're paying like 0.015%. It's a really good time to trade, but unfortunately, hopefully they leave that open for a week because we'll probably see a dip and then we're going to see a rise back up um, during the week, this week coming. Okay, so how do I buy? So very simply, a limit buy is very, the easiest way to buy anything is market. So say you want to buy NEO, um, you put the amount that you want, let's say it's 10, 30, whatever it is, you put it there, it will basically buy NEO and it will buy it at the best market price that you can get it at right now. Okay, so that's the easiest way to do it. Um, traders and myself, we don't usually do market buys unless we expect things to explode right as we buy it, okay? Limit buying is a little different. So as you see, this number here is different than this number here. It went down, right? Um, now it's back to the exact same number again. So as we know, things go up and down. So let's say I think Neo is gonna go to $95, right? So what I can do actually is do this. I can go 1.2, I can go 1.99. Um, I can show you that if I think it's going to be 95, I can set a buy for $95, $93, $91, whatever it is, 95, okay? And it will change all the time. But if it's lower than this number, it won't buy it until it gets down to this number. So this is how we call a limit buy when we want to buy it thinking it's going to keep going downward on a downward trend. And then we're going to hit it, uh, a buy, when we're not even watching the market, okay? And then you can do the same thing on a sell order. So let's say I bought five and I have 7.84 NEO. You can see that. So let's say I want to sell my NEO when this gets up to uh, a range of 1.52. Let's say I'm going to sell at 1.5. So 0 0.0152 would be $121. And then I would set 100% of them and click the sell. Now I'm, going to, I'm going to do that because we're not there and we're not going to hit it. So I'll show you what to do. So if you click sell NEO, this is what it'll look like. If you go to your orders, open orders, after you do it, you'll see it there because it hasn't hit. So as you see, 1.52, it would give me 0 0.1191 Bitcoin. Okay, I also have a couple of sell orders for that did not hit from a while back before the market went down, and that's okay. I'm just kind of letting those ride. So this is generally how I trade. So I would set a sell order that I think it's going to hit with a certain percentage above where it is. Neo is a long-term hold, so I'm not going to keep that as a sell. Okay, I just wanted to show you how to do that. Now, now that you've seen um, that, it's pretty straightforward, I hope. So there's two types of buys you can do, the market buy and the limit buy, okay? So limit order, you set whatever you're thinking it's gonna be, maybe 0 0.11, you're gonna buy five of them at 0 0.11, cool. You set it and it will stay in your buy order, it won't actually hit. So you won't actually get that buy order, okay? Just keep that in mind, you're not actually gonna hit that order, right? So know that it won't go through right away. It's gonna have to go down and hit that number to get to that buy order. So that's why limit buys can be a little bit more confusing, but basically I perceive, you see a trend and you go, okay, I think it's gonna go down to there. You know, if you're doing if you're doing it on a FIB chart, it's even easier to see the zones. I could show you guys that another time as well, but FIB charts would show us different zones and where to buy and where to sell. So um, 
let's say we want to buy around here where it dipped to. So we're going to go, okay, I'm going to buy, I'm going to buy at 0 0.010477, hit the buy. It won't go through until it actually goes down that low. And if it doesn't go down that low, it will never buy it. And it'll end up in your open orders I just showed you over here. Then you'll have to cancel it. And then basically, if you didn't hit it, it's okay. Wait for the next opportunity. Okay, keep that in mind that you always have another opportunity. Don't be so FOMO'd that you miss opportunities because you're scared to, that you're overlooking opportunities that you shouldn't, let's put it that way. Okay, so that's how you, that's how you basically buy and then stop limit buys. Um, they're a little bit more confusing to explain, but it's pretty straightforward. So let's say I want to stop here. Okay, so this is my stop. I'm going to stop limit here. Now, a stop just means this. You're going to sell it at this. You're going to buy it at this price when it hits this price. So if you think that if it hits this price right here, this is where you stop it, then you're going to buy around here. Okay, so it'll explain it to you right here. A stop limit order is an order to buy or sell a coin once the price reaches a specific price. Okay, if you want even more detail, this is what Binance says itself. Okay, so explanation is stop price is when a current price reaches the given stop price, the stop limit order is executed to buy or sell. So what does that mean? That means this. That means if I say that this is going to hit 0 0.101, okay, that's what I said over here, 0 0.104, sorry. 104. I think it's going to hit $82 again somehow. Probably not, but it's possible. Anything can happen. I think it's going to hit that, right? So I can set a stop limit then if it does get that low to buy it. If it hits there at 0 0.014. Okay, so you can do it like that. Buy it at that. Or you can also do when it hits that, then you're going to set your order to be 1.00. So what that does is it hits that and then it sets the limit order. It will literally buy it when it hits 0 0.01 it'll buy whatever you have whether it's 10 or 4 or 1 doesn't matter it'll buy it at this price only so basically if it hits that price you assume it will drop even lower so maybe you think even 0 0.09 whatever it is then you would basically find out that when it hits 0 0.014 your buy your limit buy order would go in at 0 0.09 and you would find it in your open orders afterwards Right, so if it hits, it will go through, and you'll see it in your balances. If it doesn't hit, you would see it in here. That doesn't that the, the trade did not go through, uh, meaning it didn't drop down to that level. So you can always do multiple stop limit or uh, stop buy, uh, stop limit buys or sells at the same time. So you could have a few to make sure that you don't miss all of them. But you could have, uh, for example. Let's say you think it's going to stop limit here, right? So let's say you say, okay, it got down to 0 0.12, right? Okay, so then I'm going to do another one for 0 0.011, and maybe I'll do another stop limit order for 0 0.012, and another one for 0 0.013, and scaffold my trading so that way at least I get some of them, okay? And then the same thing on the cell. Let's say I want to stop limit... Um, now this is this can be used to like stop loss basically, right? So I'm going to stop my losses if Neo gets all the way down to uh, 0 0.012. Okay, so if it goes to 0 0.0124, 0 0.024. Okay, so if it gets down to this low, I'm going to set my limit cell to hit if it gets any lower than that at all. So 0 0.010. I'm going to sell it at that. So I'm going to stop limit at this, and if it keeps going down and goes to 0 0.01, I'm going to sell it there. And then you just put 50% or whatever, and you click sell Neo. Okay, and then it would sell if it got that low. You can also do it the other way, where you can do it um, when you think it's going to go up. Right, so if I think that's going to go up to 0 .0, uh, 0 0.02 or 0 0.018, okay, let's say I'm thinking really big, it's going to go to 0 0.015. When it hits 0 0.015, I want it to, to sell when it hits 0 0.018, okay? So at 0 0.015, it would, it would hit. It would set a sell order, uh, a sell limit order at this level for four of my tokens in NEO. And then whatever it sells for, I get 0 0.02, 0 0.072 back, okay? So it would hit it here. So the stop is there to engage this limit order.
Okay, so there's no real different. The stop is there, but there's no different from this either. For me, just putting in a price here going 0 0.014 and then saying uh, four of them here and then selling. It's not going to sell till it hits 0 0.014. So when you use the stop limit, the only difference is I'm going when it's 0 0.015, I'm going to set a new limit order for 0 0.018. So it's the same thing as doing this, 0 0.018. Okay. I hope that kind of makes sense for everyone. That's pretty straightforward to me. Um, if it's not, send me a message. But yeah, market as well. Let's say I want to sell all my NEO right now at the market price it is. I click sell. Boom. I'm definitely not going to do that right now. That would be the biggest mistake ever because I would lose money uh, because I don't think NEO is going to stay down at 100 bucks. Okay, That's my own opinion. Uh, I think it's going to go well over $97 soon enough. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, so if you have questions about how to use Binance for buy, sell, or trade, that's pretty much a really basic rundown of what you got to do. So you go to exchange, you click basic, you look over here for the coin that you want. Let's say it's StoreJ. You click on StoreJ. Um, if you want to buy it at this price, right this second, you click the market price, you put how much you want and buy it. You want to set a limit order. You want to buy it when it goes a little bit lower than this. You set it at like 0 0.1 one, and then you set how much you want to buy at and then it will hit when it goes down to 0 0.1100 or lower, okay? And then the stop limit would be okay. I'm gonna stop my uh, limit order. I'm gonna start it at 0 0.00, um, you know, 0952. And then I am going to do the limit order. Uh, if it hits that, I'm gonna set my buy at 0 0.00, 90, something like 0 09, yeah, something like that. Okay, and then it would buy at this price if it ever hits that. Okay, so that's pretty much it. And the same thing for sales. Um, there's no difference at all. So that's pretty much how you do it. If you have any questions other than that, let me know. But you should be able to now buy and sell and trade on uh, Binance after this video. So I hope this helps some of you guys that are trying to figure it out. And if you ever need to see your balances of anything, just click on balances. It will load up a page with all of your funds and you use that. And then if you need to ever track your trades, you go to trade history and it will show you what you've traded for what in the past. Okay. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. So yeah, have a good one guys. If, uh, if you need anything for me, you know, just, just give me a holler. I'm here for you and uh, yeah, have yourselves a great day. Now you know how to use Binance. Um, link me up if you need anything. Have a good one, guys. Mr. Jolie, cryptocurrency educator, educating you on finance 101. Take it easy, guys.